Once you are happy with the vehicle path, you can now evaluate the swept path. To do this, select the path and click Evaluate in the Properties palette. Alternatively, just right-click and select Evaluate. By default, the vehicle body envelope is shown in green. If the path colors clash with the background image, you can change the appearance of the path in the properties here. You may also wish to add a clearance to the vehicle envelope. This can be done in the Clearance tab. Clicking the Show drop-down menu will allow you to choose between an outline or a fill color for your clearance. The width of the clearance can then be edited. By default, the clearance is set at 0.2 feet. For this demonstration, I will change the left and right clearances to 1.5 feet. You can also change its appearance here. Once the clearance measurements have been adjusted, click Evaluate to see the path with clearance added. If you are wanting to view or indicate the width of your path at any point, simply right-click on your path and under the Vehicle Path, select Add Marker. A distance marker will then follow your cursor and you can left-click anywhere you'd like to show the width. To measure the width of the clearance, simply toggle the marker tool by holding the control key. Once you've finished adding markers, just right click to deselect the tool. You can control if wheel paths are displayed in your document under the properties palette. To see them more clearly, I'll first turn off the fill on my swept path. Here, you can select the front, rear, or all wheels to display. There are also several options to adjust the appearance of your front and rear wheel paths so you can easily distinguish between them. Arrows display on the center line of the path, indicating the direction of the vehicle. You can choose to hide the arrows here or adjust their color and size. Further customization options here include adding the vehicle's speed along the path and choosing where the vehicle displays along it. You can also add the vehicle so we can see how it behaves at any point along the path as we previously did when adding markers by right-clicking on the path and selecting Add Vehicle. In our next tutorial, we'll step through adding the vehicle profile to the plan.